You can see it's raining so much at the moment so we decided now to take pictures at this wall so let's see how the sharpness is from both lenses so we will compare both now and then I will show you some example photos and yeah let's go we wanted to show you now the next portrait we use this wall for our background and Muriel can you show some yes so guys I hope you can see good so we did some now at the wall and we use now the Sigma 85 mm 1.4 and next we will use the Sony 85 mm and I'm ready Muriel, you too? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Nobody told me to settle down. Day nights and late nights don't get around. But there's something about you. Something about you I like. About you I like. You're crazy for saying I should slow down. But maybe I'm escaping the love we found There's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us gotta say And almost left town But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us gotta say Okay, so we made it and it stopped actually to rain. So this photo shoot was very wet and, and cold. And it was very cold, but we made it. And our summary from today is that the Sigma 85 mm 1.4 is definitely the winner because it is sharper than the Sony 85 mm 1.8. But if you are just on a budget, I would say just go for the Sony 85mm 1.8 because you pay around 500 euros less and I really didn't notice a big difference but the Sigma 85mm 1.8 was definitely a bit sharper and if you really want a difference then go for this one and yeah this was our photo shoot and thank you for watching and yeah see you next time Bye.
lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say the honest